Have you ever asked yourself, who is the only person you can truly control in this life? The answer is you. You are the sole architect of your life, the master of your fate, the captain of your ship. Your life is a canvas, and you hold the brush. You decide which colors to use, which strokes to make, which scenes to depict. You are the one who decides whether your life is a masterpiece or a doodle. In life, you are the only person you can control, and so you are the only person who can take responsibility for your life. This includes your energy, your happiness, your fulfillment, your career, your choices, and everything else that makes you, you. You are responsible for you and you alone. You cannot control others nor are you responsible for them. They are their own captains steering their own ships. Yes, you can and should support others in their journey. You can be a guiding light, a beacon of hope, a shoulder to lean on. But remember, supporting someone is vastly different from taking responsibility for them. You take responsibility for yourself, you support other people. Be careful not to mix up the two. Recognize that your responsibility for your life unfolds in the present moment, not in some past memory, not in some distant future but right here, right now. This moment is all you have, this moment is all you can control, this moment is your canvas and you are its painter. Taking responsibility for your life is not a burden but a blessing. It's an opportunity to shape, craft, build, mold, and create your life. It's a privilege to have this responsibility, but it's only when we recognize that it's ours and ours alone that we can truly seize our power. So take responsibility for how you show up in the world. Honor your life by consciously choosing your path. Dignify yourself by taking responsibility for your own well-being. It is yours to claim. Remember, you take responsibility for yourself and support others, never the other way around. Have you ever considered the present moment as the only time you can truly shape your life? Not a fleeting memory of the past, nor an uncertain promise of the future, but the here and now. It's in this very moment that your responsibility for your life unfolds. This is not a concept to be taken lightly, nor is it a source of unnecessary worry. Rather, it's a blessing, a gift of accountability. Imagine having the power to shape, craft, build, mold, and create your own life. What a tremendous gift it is to be able to do so. It's a privilege to have this responsibility. But it's only when we recognize that this responsibility is ours and ours alone, that we can truly seize our power. So how do we seize this power? By taking responsibility for how we show up in the world. By honoring the gift of life through our conscious choices. And by doing so, over and over again. It's about dignifying ourselves by taking responsibility for our own well-being. Remember, it's ours to claim. So don't burden yourself by taking on responsibilities that are not yours. Focus on being responsible for yourself first. This is how we rediscover parts within us that we may have forgotten were there. This is how we become better equipped to show up for others. Embrace your privilege to consciously choose and take responsibility for how you show up in the world. Have you ever thought about the power of taking care of yourself first before others? It's a thought that might seem counterintuitive, even self-centered to some. But, let's put it this way. Imagine you're on a plane, and the oxygen masks drop. What do they always tell you? Put on your own mask before helping others. This isn't selfish, it's practical. Because you can't help others if you're gasping for air. The same principle applies to life. When you prioritize your well-being, you're not just taking care of yourself, you're laying the foundation to be a better support for others. It's about being responsible for your energy, your happiness, your choices, and what a journey it becomes. As you embrace this responsibility, you start to uncover parts of yourself that might have been overlooked or forgotten. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, discovering the richness and depth that lies within. And as you get to know yourself, you become more capable of understanding and aiding others. Taking care of yourself isn't an act of selfishness, it's an act of profound responsibility. It's an act of love, not just for yourself, but for those around you. When you prioritize yourself, you are better equipped to take care of everything and everyone else. Remember, the responsibility is yours.